Welcome to the Bushido Gang. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Attack on Samurai. Been a while, but uh, I'm back to recording. Yeah, I'm back to recording in, in general. Um, yeah, it's like I, had, I needed to take like a week, a week or two break. Honestly, I should I should still be taking a break right now, but I'm excited. I'm excited because um, I picked up the second volume for Run on Your New Legs, and I really really wanted to cover the new chapter or the um cover the chap well not all the chapters but i wanted to cover the chapter for this video today um since i just picked it up i picked it up uh actually last week um and i read a little bit i didn't read like the whole volume i didn't read the whole volume too but i only read like the first three ch the first couple chapters of it um but yeah i'm not gonna really spoil anything or say anything too much but we're just gonna dive into chapter one or um not chapter one sorry chapter seven actually chapter seven uh for run our new legs uh, before we get started please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe follow me on twitter join my discord the bushido gang and subscribe for some more content on the channel all my links will be down in the description and uh and yeah so a quick summary or i guess uh review of what happened in run on your new legs so we got introduced to this character named kikazatsu kikazatsu uh he only or i mean he used to play he used to play soccer um or football however however like however you want to say it um i'm american so i'm ignorant so so i'm just gonna say soccer um but for the people that are in the uk and other spots uh you know football is the word but but yeah as an as an ignorant american i will say soccer so so yeah, so Kikazatsu plays played soccer, but then he had an injury uh, which cost him uh, his leg. So basically, um, he's trying to like find some other way to really, you know, like be active. Um, he wants to, he still wants to do a sport, you know, even if he is, you know, uh, disabled in a way, physically disabled. So so yeah, um, he ends up meeting this um. Paralect this paraleptic uh, named Chidori, and he is able to you know help out Kikazatsu. He gave him a um, he actually gave him a a new leg, and basically uh, he wanted to see him run with it. And uh, basically the kind of paraleptic the kind of um I really can't remember the word the kind of paraleptic that uh that Chidori gave him. Uh, is you know a paralytic that as a paralytic um, army is a prosthetic leg that's uh, designed for track and basically the track the track kind of design or the track uh, prosthetic legs are actually blades and these blades are or, I mean designed kind of like blades and they give you like a lot of power and a lot of push off speed so it helps out a lot with um, you know athletes that are that are in that are you know disabled and whatnot um, but, but yeah so. He gave him one for his, uh, I believe it's actually his left leg that's, uh, that's not, that he actually lost. I think it's his left leg or right leg. Um, yeah, he gave it to him, and he had his first run, and he, uh, and Kikazatsu did really well on his first run, and basically he, and basically Shidori was so impressed that he wanted him to, you know, keep doing it pretty much, or I mean, he wanted to keep continuing the conversation with, with, uh, Kikazatsu and want him to continue so uh if he's more if he's interested to you know like look out for him and whatnot so that's kind of what happened really uh throughout the first volume really just that introduction of meeting chidori of um kikazatsu meeting chidori and also you know meeting his uh meeting his other friend which we're actually going to see in this chapter i believe in this in chapter seven we're going to see him again because we haven't seen him since i think chapter three or four um but yeah so anyways let's dive in shall we let's dive in chapter seven more like running away so uh the last chapter ended with him um ended with um yeah chapter six ended with kigazatsu um you know getting popular at school after running in shibuya against um what's his name uh i forgot his name but um should i have the other book but i don't feel like getting it <laughs> I have the other, I have the other volume, but I don't feel like, actually, I do have it right here, hold on, let me see if I can, let me see if I remember what his, uh, what his name was, uh, what was his name again, I think it was, um, it was something, fuck, what was his name, I'm looking at the page right now, it was, uh, oh yeah, it's Chia. so he had to race against Chia and Shibuya, 
And even though he got hurt and everything, he still got popular. So, or I mean, he's still popular or known from running that, um, from running in that event. So, so yeah. Um, now everyone at school knows about him, and even his uh, even his former teammate uh, knows about him as well. So, so yeah, this is it. All right, chapter seven. More like running away. Check you out, Kikazatsu. I can't believe you got to run. You got to race at that sh- at that event in Shibuya. No one told me there'd be an article. Seems like the whole class has seen it now. That dude made me think he just asked. <laughs> that dude made me think he just. He just asked me to um, ask me along to watch. Sounds like we need to be worry worry about around Chidori son. Yeah, Chidori Chidori trying to you know get that clout you know, <laughs> trying to get that attention. He's having a bit. He has a business for himself, man. He's using Kikazatsu as a as a product. <laughs> a whole um, a whole banner, <laughs> whole advertisement. <laughs> but this could, this could be your chance to open up and make more friends. If word gets around that you're running track, it'll be it'll be a little easier for you to train here at school. Oh, look at everybody in the in the separate panels looking at him. He's not totally wrong. Nothing's worse than just than the whispers and the stares. Ah, I crossed the line again. Sorry. Hey, hey. Can I come and join the track and field club, or come and watch the track and field club? All right. So this is the next page. All right. And, uh, what was his name? I forgot his name. Um, but that's his, uh, the guy is actually his old teammate. So, on the soccer team. So, they both came to the same school, you know, because the school is, like, really well known for their soccer program. But, um, but yeah, um, because of the, because of the accident, which, we, which, I mean, it still hasn't been specified what actually happened to Kigazatsu yet. I'm assuming that maybe we'll get that maybe in the next volume, or maybe it'll be in this volume. That'd be kind of cool, but I, I feel like this whole buildup around his injury or around this accident, it's probably going to come like a little later down the road. Maybe like in a, maybe like in a really like pivotal point in the, in the, uh, in the manga. Uh, but yeah, just these three panels showing the character respond or you know reacting to uh, Kikazatsu with his leg. And the next page. Oh, Kikazatsu. So um, this is you, right? Are you friends with that cute guy who you raced against? You race against? You ran at some event in Shibuya. You gonna compete at the Paralympics? Damn, they all on him. <laughs> Damn. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, Kikazatsu, I see you. Ah. Uh, me, ah. I, oh, shit, what the fuck? My phone was doing weird shit. Ah. I bet you already got recruited, but he's got to keep it a secret for now. What month when, What month are the Tokyo um, Olympics again? My leg never drew. Never drew this kind of attention before. <laughs> These girls aren't even in my class. They weren't good around that quickly. Oh, and there he is. Ah, it was Taki. That's his name. Taki. I hear you're just trying to run now. More like running away. Bruh. Bruh, that's such a... B- <sighs> that... <sighs> I don't like that, man. I don't like that. That's that's kind of that's kind of messed up. Especially because Taki knows... He knows, he probably knows about what happened to Kikazatsu. So why would he say that? That's just fucked up. <laughs> that's, that's actually kind of messed up, the, the fact you said that. Like, they were both former teammates. So, again, he knows the whole incident, I'm sure. So why would his reaction be that way? Well, I guess it's more like a more like a quick turnaround for him. The fact that Kikazatsu is able to, you know, actually like get back up on his feet. And maybe he's just reacting negatively because of that. Like, but that's still, that's still really, like, that's really fucked up. That, that's really messed up. Anyways. Huh? What was that about? You know him, Kikazatsu? Oh, so there he goes. Yeah, I used to do, I used to do that all the time back in, <laughs> back in the, back in class, back in high school. I think even in college I did it too. I would just, like, flip my pen around if I got bored. <laughs> I still do it occasionally. Um, 
I hear you're just trying to run. I hear you're just trying to run now. More like running away. You haven't talked in forever, and he opens up with that? Since I can't play soccer with, ta with Taki anymore, I can't keep my promise from back then. But... So long as I can run again, I'll take any path available to me. All I want is for my lights to carry me somewhere again. I respect that. That's respect. That's respect. That's a really, that's a really messed up what Taki said, though. Like, like, how could you say that, man? He probably didn't even, he probably didn't, like, no, that, he probably didn't mean to say it like that, but still, that's, that's really messed up. Like, like let's, let's say, for example, right, let's say, well, I, I, how about basketball, actually? Let's say for basketball, well, I guess it would be the same, it would be the same way anyway, but, like, Nah, that, that, it'll pretty much be the same thing. It'll be the exact same way. Um, it'll be the it'll be the exact same way. I'm trying I'm trying to like make a comparison, but like I don't think there's really a comparison you can make with this, because like it would apply to all other sports too. One athlete gets gets seriously injured and he can't really compete, and then yeah, that's just that's just really petty. That's really petty from Take. Um, anyways, next page. Our club is on the smaller side, but I'm sure our senpai will be thrilled. Are there any other short distance runners besides besides you, Asami? There are, but they don't show up every day. They're not big on enforcing a strict regimen. I guess that's how solo running is. Here's our club room. Oh, and there's the soccer team. Whoa. The soccer club. There's a bug on your back, dude. Get it off me. <laughs> we have to watch out for them coming and going. Yamagami Soccer Club is famous for being is, is famous for being amazing, so they've got a huge roster. That's why the track and field club shares its space with the soccer club with the soccer club's third third stringers. Yeah. I do I do remember. Um like well actually it's kinda it's kinda interesting. Um in my high school um, our track team wasn't like, it wasn't like the biggest team, you know, out of, on the school or from the, from the school or from one, my high school is really small. Like there were, there were about, I think almost 400 kids or a little over 400 kids. Um, but I'd say the biggest like sports team or the biggest team we had was the football team. You know, like most high schools anyway, it was the football team, then basketball, then I think after basketball, it was either soccer or it was, I think it was soccer. It, it probably was soccer, actually, after that. But yeah, it was football, basketball, soccer. And then I think the track team was actually the fourth most popular team. Um, but there weren't that many, like, teams, really. There were some, like, there, there were teams that were around, but they weren't, like, you know. Again, they weren't the teams that everyone, like was was gonna like you know gravitate was going to gravitate towards like i remember i think it was my junior year or my sophomore year of high school uh where we actually had our first volleyball team but it wasn't like for the girls because i mean the girls volleyball the girls vo volleyball team already existed but there was like a boys one too which was weird <laughs> but but yeah they had one they had one there and then i think lacrosse is actually a new one um again this is like after i left this is after after I graduated from uh, from high school, but I've heard that there's a lacrosse team there now, or maybe it was always there, but I just but it just wasn't like that known. But it's starting to get more popular, and I think now there's a tennis team. So it's um so the sports are like you know there's more sports getting added onto the school, which is kind of cool. Um, but but yeah, again when I was when I was you know a student there when I was when I was you know still in high school, like there were about five or six different sports uh, sports teams, and the track and field team was like the fourth one, and with our team, we didn't actually have like our own spot. We had to share with the football team, so it's kind of the same. It's kind of the same thing that applies here too, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, we had to have like we had like our own lockers. I mean, we had lockers that we had to share. Well, not had to share. There were actually some empty ones that were still in the that were in the um, that were in the locker room and everything um, for the football team. But yeah, we just had to like put ourselves there for the day or what, for the for the practice and whatnot, and then just after that, take it out and then go to practice. Um, but yeah, 
Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments below if you guys were like that too back in high school or even in college. I like to know that as well. Just get my just get your opinions on that. Um, anyways, that's why the track and field. Uh, that's why the track and field club shares its space with the soccer with the soccer club's third stringers. So yeah, these are just the run. These are just the the backup. So this is the backup team. I almost jealous of their sheer numbers. Uh, but there are downsides too. Lots of them never get to get or never get to play games or playing games. Yeah, that's that's tough. That's really tough. Yeah, I know Yamagami has got a killer soccer club. That's why I picked this school. You used to play soccer. Me and my buddy played all throughout or all through elementary and middle school. Then we worked our butts off to get into Yop into Yamagami together. Our dream was to dominate all of high school soccer. Seeing those guys just reminded me of the good of the good times. Clubs for sure are great, huh? Tr track and field may be small, and I'm hardly the fastest guy around, but I love to run alongside you, Kikazatsu. Better watch out, though. If I join, I'll be the ace before you know it. <laughs> now I'm really pumped to check out to check out practice. Let's hurry and let's hurry and get down there. Sh sure, he's smiling. Is Takikawa here today? Haven't seen him yet. If some third stringer can't even put can't even put in time, what good is he? Whatever, screw him. Damn. And there he goes. He always manages to slow practice down anyhow. You ain't wrong. These cubbies are for track and field. Oof. You guys really got the chef. Yeah. That's <laughs> tough. And that's the end of chapter seven. Um so yeah, nice little introduction into the volume two, and uh, not really much else to say about it. Uh, but now we're finally getting into the whole track and field thing, uh, or at least like the whole like world, or I guess the is the right term world building. I guess world building. Yeah, I guess they're, we're getting more into the world building around the school, around school life and whatnot. So it's gonna be cool. Definitely can't wait to see what the new characters are gonna be seeing in this uh, in this manga or in this uh, in this volume two. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this chapter and just what you think about um, running your new legs so far. Um, again, if you guys are just watching me for the first time and are watching, you know, and are seeing this video for the first time, um, I did, I already did my reactions to all, I mean, to volume one already um, with, you know, all six chapters. So if you guys want to check that out, you know, it'll be, it'll be, I mean, it'll probably be throughout the video anyway. You guys will probably see links of the, of the videos that I've been posting for this manga. Um, but I do have, um, I do have a playlist as well if you guys want to check that out too. But yeah, um, again, don't have really much to say about this chapter. Again, good introduction to Volume 2, getting into what I predicted, which was, you know, more track life stuff. Or more stuff, uh, you know, predicting about the school life and whatnot. And again, I hope we do get an answer about what happened to Kikazatsu's leg. Because, like, that's very, that's very interesting to me. Like, what exactly happened to this man? <laughs> like, what, like, what happened, man? Um, but yeah. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. That's going to be that. Uh, be safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you for some more uh, manga reaction to Run Iron New Legs. Be safe, wash your hands, and peace out.